He helps out some jokes today. What do you think about them? Okay. <laughs> Good morning and um, welcome to Vlogmas Day 9, I think. I've been eating like total garbage, so I need a breakfast that's kind of healthy to just like, I don't know, feel, feel alive again. So I'm gonna make one of my favorite baked oatmeal recipes. We're gonna start with two cups of almond milk. What are you doing, Papa? Okay, now we need a third cup of peanut butter. This is like real peanut butter, so it's it doesn't have any sugar, it's just peanuts. And peanuts Ew. are oily, so you have to stir it. To eat it? Yeah. Five. Six. Ah. It's getting so messy. Seven. Okay. So we have a third of a cup of peanut butter. No. Now we need vanilla. Um, and then we mix. Ooh. You can mix a little bit now if you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to measure the vanilla with my heart. Okay. You can mix now. It's making peanut butter milk instead of chocolate milk. <laughs> yeah. Now we need two cups of oats. Okay. We need a half a cup of maple syrup. I know that maple syrup is sugar, but it makes me feel better. One cup. That is from a tree. I feel like that was a really dumb thing to say. It isn't sugar from a plant as well. It's just processed. Same way this would be processed. Now we mix. Okay, now add the oats. We need a quarter cup of this chocolate powder. I Cocoa wish powder. I could eat it. A teaspoon of baking powder. A teaspoon. Salt. What you got there? Okay. Go ahead. My chef's cafe. Chef's cafe? I think that's good. Okay. Okay, but now you can mix it. Okay. Whoa. Can you mix in that white? Whoa. The brown is taking over. Um, yeah, we need chocolate chips. And this is gonna make like a whole pan of like brownies basically. And then you can just stick it in the fridge and eat it every morning until it's gone. That's good. There's no sugar added. I'm gonna spray this just in case. Good chips. gonna bake for 40 minutes. It's all done. I mean, to say it looks like a brownie is a stretch, but I was so busy at work, I didn't even have a chance to eat it while it was still warm, but I'm gonna eat it now. Hi guys, it's me, Ivy, today, and um, I do, I actually want to make a lot of videos. Um, I'm making Christmas videos. I just wiped off this it's getting dried i just stick my own my hand on it but um um so i just got done my cereal um it's just milk but guys if can you see that it's seven 
R. It's seven R. You can't see that? Comment down below. And if you can't see it, subscribe. This is my cat. My kitty are so cute. Oh my god. Let me go. If you do this. So we have a nice day. We have a bunch of fun stuff. I'm going to go ahead and switch off. And you're going to go to the next video. Bye. So this is the view out. Um, It's literally a snow day. Do you want to go out there? It'll be a little chilly. I am going to have a bagel. So I am going to make a bagel. Mommy. Can you get the cream for the bagels? This is literally so good. I can cook it. Cream cheese, I'm still filming. Still filming. Me. Like yeah. I do. Most of our vlogs have just been you running around filming stuff. Yeah. Cause I like to vlog. Yeah, hey, that's fun. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, you have an adult to help. You only have to ask an adult to help. But if you're this age, you can do it. I do not like cream cheese on its own. I hate it. I hate it on its own. Um, no, but I do like it on a bagel. Um, these are called bagels, just to let you know. If you don't know what a bagel is, just comment down below and I'll share it with you. And it will be literally delicious. So delicious. Um, remember, comment down below for bagels. If you want one, I can make you one. Comment down below. If you already have a bagel at your house, you can eat it. You can make one yourself. You can eat it yourself, and you can grab it yourself. Like my dad just got the plate out. That's all. And the cream cheese. Um, cream cheese is smelly. Um, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just having one half moved. Never wanna go very close to it because the really close to it, it will very go hard. I think. So if you hear that, that's my Grammy's TV. Um, she always likes to put on something that I don't like. Um, from her. Um. So I don't want to break her heart, um, so I still love her, and I still love the dogs, I still love Stella, and Charlotte. Okay. I can't leave it without more cream cheese. Now, let's put it here. In there. Let's put this in the sink. Um, well, I am done my big old. Bye, guys. Wait, it doesn't let me zoom in. There's Santa behind us. <laughs> <laughs> like the poor man. That was the guy, the Santa behind us. Um, he plays Santa, like, all around. So he must, I don't know. He's like a local Santa. Um, I didn't know we had one. We do. And uh, you'll see him around sometimes. He's got the beard, like, year-round. So it's a legit beard. But when I worked at the kitchen... He, uh, we were doing this contest one time with all the students, I don't know if you remember. Um, 
and it was which which Chips Ahoy cookie is the best, chewy or crunchy. Yeah, I remember um, that. I picked crunchy and a bunch of people picked chewy and then it was like a really close tie and then that guy walked in dressed as Santa Claus and I just screamed from like all the way back there and was like oh my god Santa's here I was like get over which cookie do you like the best Santa and then he chose crunchy and so everyone decided that even though chewy won crunchy should win because Santa said crunchy <laughs> <laughs> that's great that's that's a great story thank you that sounded so unenthusiastic no no I'm serious <laughs> Um, no. Glittery? Glittery. Look at our slide. There's snow in it. Like, compared to that. Look at our fireplace. Look at everywhere. I'm coming to this hideous headband because I just finished my makeup, except for I got a sparkle lip that I want to try. So I'm going to do it right now and show you. Sparkle lip? Yeah, even though it's like 8 in the morning, we're gonna have sparkle lips. Um, I don't know what those are. Birds. Do, 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 do. Chilling in the oak I left it filming this whole time. Okay, it's done. This is what it looks like. It's freaking wild, dude. It's like really glitter. Here's the thing. Where would I wear this? Jake just said a Christmas party. Yes. So I wear this once a year? I don't know. Would I wear this like on a date night? Can I eat with this? I don't know. There's not glitter coming off on my finger. I guess I'll keep you posted. It feels kind of weird. I am putting chicken in the crock pot because I'm making Panera sandwiches tomorrow when my sister comes over so we can have that for lunch. And it's like a shredded chicken sandwich with avocado and stuff. So I'm going to slow cook the chicken today so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. And I am not going to lie, I never cook meat in this house. I'm just like, I've never been a meat person. Like, a, I eat it a little bit, but not a lot. And I certainly usually never cook it. So I hope she appreciates it because I had to touch meat. I was up until midnight last night wrapping and I didn't get it all done. I actually vlogged everything that I got the kids so that I wouldn't forget because I feel like in 20 years I'm gonna be like, what did I get them? And there's not really good footage on Christmas Day. So I filmed it and I'll include it at the end of the Christmas Day vlog because obviously I'm not gonna put it in now, the kids would see it. But I was up till, I feel like the glitter just kind of looks gross right now. Anyway, I was up till midnight and I didn't finish. I still have like 11 more gifts to wrap. So Ivy just went to school. She only goes to school half day, so I had to wait till she's gone. And now I'm gonna take a break from work and wrap as much as I can during my break time. And hopefully I can get it done because I have created the biggest mess in my living room. It's literally turned into just a wrapping nest. It's so, it's so bad, you can barely walk in here. Um, because I just was like cranking one after the other to get these gifts wrapped last night. So these were already wrapped. These are for like my nieces and nephews. But this is all of the gifts I wrapped last night. It's not even all of them. There's, there's not even all of them. So that's what I did last night. And I have 11 more. These are their Christmas Eve ones. It's so cute. I just love one of my favorite things. Is buying ribbon and then getting to pick out which ribbon goes with which wrapping paper. It's so fun. I'm eating with this glitter and it's staying. Pretty cool. I will say my lips feel super dry and gross. Jake went and got me my favorite thing from my time. Salt and pepper chicken. It's so good. I just got it recently for the first time. Now it's all I want every time I go there. So freaking good. The glitter is gone. After I ate my lunch, it was like there was a line on the inside of my lips and I hate that and it felt weird, so it's, I'm done with it. All right, I'm done wrapping. Now I have to stack them all under the tree and it's not gonna be fun. As you can see, my heated blanket was under, yeah. As you can see, there's smoke. It's from last year, last year's Vlogmas. But my heated blanket was keeping me warm while I was doing this. Now I gotta stack it.
Yeah, so these are all the gifts for mom and dad. Santa will bring one big gift that's unwrapped on Christmas Eve for Christmas morning. And he'll also fill their stockings. I should have the Christmas tree on. Okay. There. So, basically, in less than 24 hours, I've wrapped all these. And I'm tired. Okay, the chicken is done. So, this is how I shred it. It makes it so much easier than just forks. Um, I put the paddle attachment on my KitchenAid. Chicken's in. Now, you just turn it on and it's gonna shred itself. There you go, easy as that. And if you don't have one of these mixers, you can just use a bowl and one of those hand mixers. Which one's your favorite? <laughs> that one? That one's for Christmas Eve. Which one's your favorite, Ivy? Um, I like, this one. That one's for Gooby. Oh. <laughs> All the ones over up here by the window are yours. Probably this one. The yeah. checkered one? Yeah. You guys have a good day at school? Yeah. I'm making black pepper focaccia for the sandwiches I was talking about earlier with the chicken. So I have honey and warm water, and now I'm going to add the yeast. Mm -hmm. yeah, really good. <laughs> yeast. Okay, you want to add this, Ivy? Yeast. Yeast of Eden. Ice of Eden. Ice. So you wanted to hear it, weirdo. Okay, now we need half. It was like half a teaspoon. We're gonna let this okay. bloom for a couple of minutes. The yeast is bloomed, so now we need flour. One, two, two, three, three, four, four five, five, one, two, two teaspoons of salt. And we need, this is like about two teaspoons of pepper, because it's pepper picasha. The dough's a little wet. Hopefully that's not terrible. Um, but our new oven, we got an oven this year, and it has a bread proofing function. So I don't even have to put plastic wrap on this. I'm just going to stick it in the oven on bread proof. The elves in the advent, one of the days recently, brought crock light gibbets. So the girls now have headlights on their Crocs. <laughs> oh, I think that's so funny. Okay, uh, let's see what we got. It's mommy. <laughs> Lemons and bananas are both fruits. What else do they have in common? Ivy, you want to come answer more questions, baby? Uh, they both have nutrition. They both have nutrition, but what else is... They both are healthy. They're both healthy, but what about a lemon and banana? Do you, it, what, what do they have in common? They both are yellow. Ah, that was Yellow, mine. yep. Which does not belong in this group? Roots, fins, leaves, buds. Fins. Fins. Very good. Which city is in Florida? Miami or Minneapolis? Anyone Minneapolis. know? Minneapolis. Nope, it's Miami. Miami. Miami, Florida. You can remember that by just never forgetting it. <laughs> you didn't do this for us. I love you so much. Merry Christmas to our family. I love you all, EJS. And then she smudged it to make it more art. Okay, my dough has risen. And then I put it in the pan I'm gonna bake it in and it has to rise again. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've made a lot of bread before. I'm kind of scared. I've never made this type. I don't usually have doughs that are this sticky. It's a very weird texture, so I hope that's what it's supposed to be like. But let's let it rise again, and then we're gonna bake it, and I hope it's good. Hi guys, it's me, Ivy, today, and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna have for a cut. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna have, but... OMG, I would love to have this. Popcorn ice cream. Look at, oh my God. I would love to have that. Oh my god. I have no idea what that is. But I am gonna have it. Just turn you over. <laughs> turn you over. <laughs> that. No. It? What is it? What is no. it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Kennel pop. Okay, so I'm gonna have kennel pop. <laughs>
so sorry guys um i'm gonna have kettle popcorn i don't know what that is but popcorn flavor um it's i think it's popcorn flavor but i'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna open it for her. Dry, and I don't. I need. Um, it does not look appetizing. Eden, I'm opening. Okay. Just trying. Does it look appetizing? Well, it'll probably look tasty, and it'll probably taste delicious. Do you think that's gonna taste good? I think that's a taste good. Okay. I don't think it is. It doesn't look. Yes, it does. It's about ice cream. What the heck? Okay, she taking a bite. Let's see. No, I'm not taking a bite. I have to take this. Can you hold this part? What? This is the bottom part? No. Okay, I'll take it. You can take it. Right in that. Right in the middle. Right in that middle, okay? Not on my hands. Right, right now. Middle. Taping process. Mommy put up a taping process thing. So. Oh, it smells bad, but... Okay, we're back. Mm -hmm. I was gonna taste it. Ew, ew, ew. Um, She's saying ew. Ew. <laughs> I don't feel like this is good, guys. Try it. Do you think if this is good? No. No! Let me try it. Okay, I'm gonna try you guys. I'm scared, but I'm gonna try it out. No! I'm scared. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Hmm. It's gross. Do you like it? That's not yeah. bad. Ew. It's gross to me. I'm still filming. Popcorn actually wins. Are we filming here? It's literally. Eden, get out of here. Get, get out, 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 get Look at this. I love you so much. Here, start it over. I love you so much. Merry Christmas heart. To our family, I love you all, EJS, which is my initials. Yep. She's chicklish. <laughs> okay, it's done its second rise, so I'm going to do olive oil and then I'm going to poke it. And I see videos of people doing this with this type of bread. It's like those slime videos. Flaky salt. Now we're gonna bake it and see if it's good. Okay, it's done. I've turned it out on the cutting board. It looks nice and crispy. I cut it off because I'm gonna use it for sandwiches, so I figured I would do it in like two, four, six blocks and then saw those in half and this is what you would make your sandwich off of and uh, this one's kind of destroyed because we tried it it is really good it's moist it's good it tastes like pepper but it's not too spicy it is kind of weird to have such a strong pepper flavor i'm not sure if i i don't know the reason i did that is because i'm trying to copy a specific panera bread sandwich and they use black pepper focaccia which must be a thing because i found a recipe for it on pinterest but it's good and it's kind of a spicier sandwich like it has chipotle sauce on it so maybe that's why but yeah i mean certainly if we don't have the sandwiches on this we'll just be eating it as is so i think it turned out good